stubbornness is not a stance. Odell picked, picked a position of stubbornness, and that's not really a stance. He didn't have nothing to stand on. So once he got to a certain point, I'm just going to inconvenience everybody because I know I got to get off now. So I'm just going to stretch it out as long as I possibly can. Kenny Green, Concrete Steel, Raw Perspective, like visiting and talking with your people. Guess what? There's a, um, a thing going around with Odell Beckham getting kicked off the flight. Kicked off the flight. He put up some resistance to um, timely, I would say timely, putting on his seatbelt. Um, after he refused or he had to be woken up, I guess the flight attendants felt that, nah, we just want him off the flight now. We just want him off the flight. Now, what they started saying was he was in his underwear. We're worrying about his medical. We got a five hour flight. We don't want nothing to happen in the air. Lies, lies. But they're doubling down now because they don't like the level of resistance that he gave them to the seatbelt. He said he was hanging out, man, I'm tired, boom, boom, boom. In his eyes, stop bothering me. The seatbelt ain't a big thing. Everybody has protocol that they have to follow. Sometimes you gotta think, why they bother me, but they have a protocol that they have to follow. Because if they're gone, then they're liable for action. So, is Odell Beckham dealing with a sense of entitlement? Or is it that too drunk, man. I can't put the seatbelt on. But how we know he was intoxicated. So once certain words start being thrown around, they catch they catch some momentum. You understand? Intoxicated or just tired. So once the deck the deck start getting uh, stacked in a certain way, now you're intoxicated and we're worried about your health. But it wasn't that. It was really. We just want you off the plane because the captain owns the plane, whether you like it or not. The captain can say, I want him off for whatever his reasons are. And you know, a lot of these things are not going to be truthful. So stubbornness is not a stance. Odell picked a position of stubbornness and that's not really a stance. He didn't have nothing to stand on. So once he got to a certain point, I'm just gonna inconvenience everybody because I know I gotta get off now. So I'm just gonna stretch it out as long as I possibly can. Police come, oh, wow, that's Odell Beckham, that's Odell Beckham. Then they say he was in his underwear. Come on, for real? He wasn't in his underwear. Maybe he had the sweatpants on, they were sagging a little bit. We want you off the plane and it's nothing you could do. He wants you off the plane and it's not you could do. They go to the point, checking his blood pressure, his blood sugar. Bro, bro, why are you going through all of that? Why are you going through all of that? It's not necessary. You a man, part of an organization, you know protocol. They got protocol too. Being a gentleman and a player, that was an easy out. Sometimes people take the stance of being stubborn where you're going to have to leave anyway, but he could have said to the flight attendant, very sorry, overly tired. You know, I party real hard last night. I have the seatbelt on now. I'm sorry about that. Everything would have moved smoothly. This is where sometimes you have to learn to get out of your own way. Get out of your own way. Some words could have just easily dealt with that. I'm sorry, that seatbelt is on now, no problem. But once they felt he was taking a certain stance, they doubled down. You can see the, the guy in the video, no, we, we just want him off. The girl, oh, we uncomfortable, oh, we, he might get sick on us. 
all of these, this is not how they really felt. But everybody's doubling down with a level of spitefulness. We're going to double down with a level of spitefulness because you know what? We want them off the plane. We're going to mess up our schedule. We don't care. All these people got to get off. We don't care. We just want him off the plane. You know why? Because he think he don't have, he think he's more powerful than us. Now the story is Odell Beckham, Odell Beckham gets kicked off the flight. And guess what? Now you're sitting there in baggage claim. Your luggage is in LA. You got kicked off anyway. Was it worth it? Then you're talking about, oh, I'm, I'm going to get on my private jet. Maybe they should have did that from the, from the jump. And I'm not even taking no sides in this situation. I'm just giving you different points of view. Because sometimes we got to get out our own way and just keep everything moving. Stubbornness is not a stance. There's a moment that at the last, yeah, I'm not moving. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. But guess what? When the right people show up, you're moving and you're getting out the way. So now your inconvenience. Your luggage is waiting for you down court. You know what I'm saying? You still got to deal with all of that to get to, you know, where you got to go. You're on the phone. Okay, yeah, this, that. You know what I'm saying? When you want to play and feel, it's, it's your home. When you got the hometown advantage, they had the hometown advantage, bro. And you didn't recognize that. And I'm not even saying you're wrong. They could have handled that different. But you could have handled it different too. Stubbornness is not a stand. You could have just easily said, let me just play my way around this, man. You know, I see they taking this, getting ready to take this to another level. Sometimes everybody just want a little respect. They got their uniforms on. It's our plane. We in charge of our plane. Just give them some respect. That's it. I'm going to give these people some respect. You know what I'm saying? Let's just keep this flight moving. You know what I mean? I don't have to be separated from my bags. I don't have to be sitting in baggage claim and waiting to find out what I'm going to do next. Yo, think about the things. And remember, stubbornness is not a stance. You understand? Don't dig yourself in. Play yourself out. That's the best way. Play yourself out of bad situations. Don't dig yourself in. To the people, once again, subscribe, Kenny Green, Concrete and Steel. Just wanted to address that. You can leave the comments, you know what I'm saying? Just give me, you know, a different point of view each way, okay? That's all the old Odell, Odell Beckham thing. Like I said, wrong or right, bad and different. There's always a way to handle things, you know what I'm saying? But I understand too, nobody like to get pushed around. So think about that, Kenny Green, Concrete and Steel. Subscribe, hit the likes. Peace, y'all.